Medical ultrasound has in the recent years experienced a rapid development of quality of real-time 3D imaging. The image quality which has been previously possible to achieve within the range of several seconds is now possible to achieve within a fraction of a second. This technological advance offers entirely new opportunities for the use of ultrasound in clinical environment. In our interdisciplinary research project, we advance visualization for ultrasound in gastroenterology with the main focus on liver examinations. Currently, the ultrasound technology used in gastroenterology offers rather limited 3D visualization capabilities and the navigational technology is rather imprecise. Therefore, in our research project, we investigate how 3D real-time imaging combined with high-performance computing of today's graphics hardware can be combined together to allow for high-quality 3D visualization and precise navigation in examinations. What we see in this image is coronoid segmentation of the liver. It divides the liver into individually functional segments based on anatomical vascular landmarks. The results achieved in this research project is based on three enabling technologies. The first is a streaming of ultrasound data in real time from a medical ultrasound scanner to a PC through an Ethernet connection. The stream contains both sample values and information about the geometry of the acquired volume that makes it possible to reconstruct the volume on the PC side. The second enabling technology in this project is an image-based registration algorithm that fits together the current volume with the previous acquired volumes from the stream. If the frame rate is high enough, there will be enough overlap in the stream volumes to create a big volume which we will call a compound volume that can cover a large anatomical object like in, for instance the liver. The final part of this system is a registration algorithm that will fit an arbitrary acquired volume to the previously acquired compound volume. If the overlap between these two volumes is big enough it is possible to, de to deduce the position and orientation of the last volume in relation to the previously acquired compound volume. In order to make a good 3D visualization of the compound volume, noise and speckle artifacts have to be suppressed. Therefore, we have developed a structure preserving filter that performs averaging in the direction with lowest variance for each voxel in the volume. As the Cournot partitioning is based on vessel structures in the liver, we want to extract the vessels in order to simplify the definition of the Cournot segmentation. In our pipeline, we use a segmentation technique targeting the hypoechoic regions that define the major vessel structures. This is an interactive process where the user accepts the proposed sex segments as the algorithm advances and allows for a complete vessel segmentation within a few minutes. The segmentation must include the branching of the portal vein and the three hepatic veins. Defining the Cournot partitioning is done by placing four planes along vessels in the segmented volume. We start by aligning the volume so that it faces the user as if a person was standing in front of him. Triggering a reset function gives the default orientation of the planes and then the horizontal plane is placed in the branching of the portal vein dividing the liver into the upper and lower segments. Further on, each of the vertical planes is aligned with each of the hepatic veins. Cournot segmentation of the liver is an important way 
of describing where a tumor or inflammation in the liver is located. This is important for the doctor-to-doctor -doctor communication, particularly for an internist or radiologist who want to communicate it, his findings to the surgeon. For a surgeon, it's critical to know the exact position of the tumor in the liver, specifically its relation to neighboring vessels and local anatomy in order to do the best operation. Interestingly, if you look around the ultrasound scanning rooms all over the world, you will find that these navigational posters are hung up everywhere. This is due to the fact that it is very difficult to remember all these segmentation details uh, inherited in corneal segmentation. From my point of view, this prototype we are here showing would be excellent to have implemented also in the scanner as a software. This would indeed give the operator of the scanner a useful tool to really improve communication to the best of the patients. During an ultrasound examination, it's sometimes very important to get uh, the actual position information in the organ. You could use an external positioning device uh, to do that, but that could be inaccurate and uh, cumbersome. Uh, using the compounding feature, you could stitch together volumes and uh, get the full volume of an organ, which is sometimes very useful. You could also use it for uh, detecting and uh, retrieving uh, lesions uh, from one uh, examination to the other. Uh, and finally, you could use it for, uh, for registering um, images uh, over time, which is important when you want to measure time-dependent data, such as contrast-enhanced ultrasound examinations.